Municipal Solid Waste Management Everyone wants to live and visit places that are clean, fresh and healthy. A city with poor sanitation, smelly and with waste matter all over the place do not attract good people, investors and tourists. The wastes are generated from home, school, public places, hospitals, industries, farms and other sources. Generally municipal solid waste could be liquid or solid waste. Both of them could be hazardous. Liquid and solid waste types can also be grouped into organic, reusable and recyclable waste. The majority of the municipal solid waste collected in India is disposed of on open land or in unsanitary landfills. Improper handling of municipal solid waste management leads to emission of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, carbon monoxide, carcinogenic hydrocarbons and nitrous oxides which pollutes the air. Unsanitary landfills leads to the leakage of a large number of toxins and heavy metals like lead, cadmium, chromium and nickel which leads to the pollution of land and water bodies. The rise in number of new cases of cancer, heart attacks and respiratory diseases is alarming day by day. Improper disposed municipal solid wastes which is the breeding ground for these disease causing organisms. Currently in most of the countries they use plasma technology in solid waste management. Though this gasification process is clean and efficient it is fast, and it can be cascaded to process as much waste as necessary. The plant has a very small footprint, 50,000 square feet for an average facility. The operating cost is very low when comparing with other available disposal technologies, and many by-products can be generated which helps to power up green tomorrow. The municipal solid wastes are feeded through a vertical screw feeder which takes the solid waste to the two hoppers which are separated by shutter. Vertical screw feeding systems are the most economical and space-saving solution for transferring municipality solid waste materials from a lower to a higher level. The bulk material withdrawn from a silo, hopper, conveying or feeding device may be discharged by the vertical screw into a way hopper. Hopper 1 is a container for a loose bulk material such as solid waste grain to store in huge quantity, typically one that tapers downward and is able to discharge its contents at the second hopper. It has the shutter 1 locking arrangement at bottom to avoid gas leaking from the gasifier. Hopper 2 is a container which will discharge solid waste constantly to the reaction chamber through horizontal screw feeder. It has another shutter to locking arrangement at bottom to avoid gas leaking from the gasifier. The shutter 1 and shutter 2 locking arrangement operated by microprocess operating system. From there it passes through the horizontal screw feeder to the reaction chamber. Where three ways of process like drying, combustion and gasification happens in the reaction chamber. A mixture of pulp, plastic, polyvinyl chloride powder, protein, soybean protein powder, and water was used as the model refuse. The operational conditions were varies and the changes in weight and temperature with time of reaction. Since our system is upward draft gasification system, the upcoming hot singers drying solid waste up to required 20% moisture level. Enertec designed and implemented special type burner for municipal solid waste management combustor pyrolysis gasifier. This combustor burn mixture of hydrogen oxygen and release high energy with high temperature in the range of 2500 degrees Celsius. It has separate hydrogen oxygen gas generator for continuous operation. Due to high temperature of thermal conversion of organic materials at elevated temperature the solid waste release gases is called singers with tar, water and condensable oil. Ash collection happens through different process like rotor fire grate, ash cooling jacket, screw feeder and ash quenching system. Rotor fire grate 
this mechanism rotate at bottom of reaction chamber, its duty is send back the reacted solid waste to ash collecting chamber. Ash Cooling System This cooling system provided for cool the ash by water before entering the quenching chamber, due to cooling of ash water will become steam and feed to the reaction chamber for energy rich singers production. Screw Feeder the collected ash in the chamber will be sent back to ash quenching system by the screw feeder. Ash quenching system. The final stage of hot ash will be quenched in the water through this chamber, so that the ash can be removed frequently. Cyclone. After the ash is separated the gas passes through the cyclone process, where it is expected to remove up to 95% of the tar which will result in a smaller candle filter system and longer filter life. Thus both capital and maintenance costs will be reduced. This has separate cooling arrangement for removing the tar and dust. We take careful care in bringing out pure syn gas. The purification of singers is a key stage in integrated gasification combined cycle plants. Nowadays singers cleaning is carried out by means of a sequence of purification steps. Many downstream processes require that the singers be cleaned of trace levels of impurities. Trace minerals, particulates, sulfur compounds, mercury and unconverted carbon can be removed by our three process. Water purifier. This system remove oil and some carbon particle from the singers and it has separate multimedia filter with sand and stone for removing oil and tar. Acid purifier. This system remove alkaline particle and moisture from the singers and it has separate multimedia filter with sand and stone for removing impurities. Alkaline purifier. This system remove acid particle from the singers and it has separate multimedia filter with sand and stone for removing the impurities. The purified singers will be stored in the high pressure cylinders for transporting to applicable place. In this process we will use high pressure compressor to increase its pressure. Syngas is a fuel gas mixture which is a crucial intermediate resource for production of hydrogen, ammonia, methanol, and synthetic hydrocarbon fuels, synthetic petroleum which can be used in industries, fuel and power generation in reduction of carbon footprint. The ash we get through this process can be used in agriculture.